In this video, we leave Esperance and make our way into South Australia via the Nullarbor. We stay at a couple of amazing campsites and end the Nullarbor by staying at Fowler's Bay. We left Esperance this morning, finally making our way to SA. And we have got to the 90 mile straight. So we just had a stop, get the photo. Um, yeah, probably what, another couple of hours drive? We're not sure where we're gonna end up today, let's be honest. We're just gonna drive until Andrew can't drive anymore. Pretty much, let's see how we go. We've made it. Made it to SA. Yay. So, uh, <laughs> got anyway. up pretty early this morning, left our camp um, back at Madura. Not very long to get here, maybe an hour and a half, do you think? Oh, two hours. Two think. hours? Yeah. To get to the border. Um, yeah. There's no actual restrictions here. It's not until you get to Sejuna, so we can just drive through. Um, and we've probably only got about an hour and a half left till we get to yeah. Bunda Cliffs. It's been a um, bit brutal on the fuel economy this stint, so oh, a bit head of a headwind. Wind. Yeah. So anyway, we'll keep pushing through. Not a big drive now. Mm. So, so yeah, bit of a stretch of legs, and then we'll keep moving. Yay! Morning coffees on the Bunda Cliffs. Not a bad way to start the day, hey? You look over here, each time the, the sun gets a little bit higher, you see a little bit more of those, those cliff faces. Absolutely beautiful. Great way to start the day. But um, this is definitely one of those iconic places that we had sort of penciled in on our trip that you sort of you know must see and um it's definitely lived up the expectation especially being able to have your have your morning coffee up here the weather's allowed us not too windy nice and still anyway
right, we've just turned off the air highway onto the road that takes you to Fowler's Bay and it is not bitumen like I thought it was uh, dirt road which is corrugated a little bit so we're just going to drop some air out now of the tires make for a little bit more comfortable ride in a little bit better on the gear and then when we get to the road to take us to Scott's Beach uh, we'll assess and see if we need to go down again I don't think so I think what Andrew's going down to now should be sufficient but you just never know so just going for a drive up this thing I think that might be called Scott's Point Scott's Bay Point I'm not sure we've just stopped there's no wind today which is so rare this water is so calm and clear and beautiful Andrew's just gone to talk to old mate over here who's fishing from his car that's Scott's Bay all out there just a stunning morning. Out on that headland now, getting amazing view back to Scott Bay. Spent quite a lot of SA time so far on the edge of cliffs. Look how beautiful that is. You can see the reef. You can see the stretch of that bay, the dunes behind. You can even see Fowler's Bay behind it. This little structure here, don't know what that is. 
This is where all the fishes are. We've had a big couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, we're here at the moment at Fowler's Bay. Um, this is our last night on the Nullarbor. So we started it four days ago when we left Esperance. Yep, four days. Yep. And uh, we spent the first night uh, at this awesome sort of cliff top free camp at Majora, which was about, we did about yeah. nine and a half hours in the car that day actually. Yeah, it was a big, big day in the car. So we were, we did stop quite a bit for fuel. So we filled up at Esperance, filled up at Norseman, filled up at Belladonia. Mm. Um, and that While was all was... to get the cheap yeah. fuel sort yeah. of thing. So last point um, was Belladonia. Um, it was a pretty good drive actually, really interesting drive. Yeah. Didn't see any wildlife, which was sad but um, heaps of trees and stuff yeah and then got up bright and early the next day the the winds on the first day were sort of neutral there was no wind there was no tailwind and no headwind so fuel wise we sort of did what we expected yeah and we were humming along nicely yeah but um yeah day two was a different story it was it was a direct easterly so we didn't really know how much that little wind would affect the drive <clears throat> yeah you definitely know it feels like you got a parachute on the back crank crank the fuel up a little bit which then um unfortunately made me had to fill up at the the nullable roadhouse which i was trying to avoid day two we did about four hours in the car and that included crossing over into sa yeah. Um, so that was really easy because you approach the border and if you're headed east, you just drive straight through. Yeah. Um, those coming into Western Australia, they have to stop and do the, the quarantine the thing. But point. that was super simple. And so um, the second night we spent at the Bunda Cliffs. Yeah. Um, that's just before the Nullarbor Roadhouse. So yeah. um, beautiful free camp on the edge of the cliffs. Um, absolutely stunning scenery there uh, you can see for miles and miles it was it was nice especially that morning being mm. up having a coffee we sort of had a a little sort of raised dune that we could sort of sit up on yeah get a really good look at the cliffs and it was it was fairly flat as well quite uh calm from a wind point of view a surreal moment actually yeah um knowing that you've been here so so after we left Yalatar, we came a few a uh, couple hours more down the road deviated off um the air highway towards fowler's bay which yeah. is where we are now so so we've spent two nights here at scott's bay it's been really good we weren't sure when we first drove in um, but it has grown on us actually really beautiful camping here amongst the dunes went for a drive this morning um, out yeah. around the headland unreal that was really good that there was yeah. no wind the water is so crystal clear beautiful colors yeah and actually been catching some fish so which is which has been nice so no real no nothing to write home about anyway but definitely some different fish on the trip so mm. 
So we're off tomorrow. We're going to pop up to the air highway again and finish the Nullarbor uh, by going to the checkpoint at Sejuna. That's where um, you need to declare all your fruit and vegetables and, and that yeah. sort of thing. So that'll be us tomorrow, officially through the checkpoint and on to our next adventure. Yeah, looking forward to it. Really enjoyed the Nullarbor. Yeah. Um, it's what, 1200 Ks or something they say, essentially from Norseman to Sejuna. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was a great drive. We did see one emu. Yeah, saw one emu. One emu is yeah. the only wildlife that we saw yeah. alive. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Peace. Join us in the next video where we explore South Australia's Air Peninsula.